Have you ever met someone who you just completely disagree with on everything no matter what? They could be the nicest person in the world, but for whatever reason, they always just manage to piss you off. Everyone else loves them, but you just don't see it. For Formula 1, that person is Mohammed Ben Salem. He's charismatic, the people around the sport seem to love him, but those in the paddock cannot stand him. Is this finally the end for the FIA president? Has he made one mistake too many? Let's find out. As the start of the 2023 season approaches, Formula 1 has never been more popular, but the sport's increasing success is also contributing to fractures at its very top. F1 is no stranger to disputes and controversies, but the sport's latest saga is not over the design of a front wing or the application of a racing law, but rather centers around the FIA president Mohammed Ben Salem. The FIA, the world's governing body for motorsport, represents many forms of racing, but F1 is very clearly the organization's showpiece championship. Ben Salem, who was elected to the role in December 2021, is a quarter of the way through a four-year term. He's had a highly eventful first 12 months in the position. By all accounts, Ben Salem has handled the governance of the actual competition well, but his recent and very public involvement in the possible entry of new teams, the potential sale of the sport's commercial rights, and accusations of sexism have caused a major stir. Before we dive into the ocean of issues that Formula 1 has with the FIA, there is something that probably needs clearing up. We see it a lot in our comments section that people maybe don't have the best understanding of what the difference is between F1 and the FIA, and how these two seemingly intertwined organizations can have such an issue with each other. The FIA, founded in 1904 and headquartered in Paris, oversees all aspects of motorsport. From grassroots level to F1, the FIA is responsible for regulating competition, whether that be issuing licenses and permits to drivers and teams, or establishing safety regulations. While the FIA governs F1, it does not currently own the sport's commercial rights. Those belong to Formula 1 Management, or FOM, a company that has almost 90 years remaining on a long-term deal for the rights. FOM, which is owned by American company Liberty Media, takes the vast majority of the money that comes in from the sport's broadcasting rights, which have hugely grown in value in recent years. While the FIA is a non-profit organization, which in theory is merely out to protect the future of F1 and motorsport, FOM and F1 are a business who are attempting to grow the commercial viability of the sport. Given F1's incredible growth in recent years, there is potential for regret at the FIA that the highly valuable commercial rights are out of its hands until the next century. If you've been keeping up to date with what's been going on in the off-season, then you will know that this is a big part of the issue that Formula 1 has with the FIA at the moment. The Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund, which is basically just the bank account of the country of Saudi Arabia, apparently made an offer to Liberty Media to buy the commercial rights to Formula 1 for $20 billion. The seriousness of that offer has been questioned, but it would be a massive increase in the value of the commercial rights, considering that Liberty Media bought them for $4.4 billion in 2017. No matter who you are, that's a tidy profit for seven-ish years of work. It is important to note that the FIA does have a small amount of control over what happens with the commercial rights of the sport. They need to approve any change of leasee and may veto any potential buyer who is not considered a fit and proper owner, bringing into play a third party. A clause in the overarching 113-year commercial rights deal contains what ex-FIA President Max Mosley referred to as the Don King Clause. Up to a point, we have a right to veto. We still have the Don King Clause in there, he said referencing a legal instrument named after the infamous boxing promoter. It's not that simple. The CRH, the original purchasers of the rights, can't just go off and sell them. Ben Salem tweeted in response to reports of the $20 billion offer. As a custodian of motorsport, the FIA as a non-profit organization is cautious about alleged inflated price tags of $20 billion being put on F1. From what we know from Max Mosley's statement, the FIA are in a position to take a stand against that offer but Liberty Media and Formula 1 management took offense to them getting involved. They wrote a letter to the FIA, basically saying, back off or else, threatening to sue the FIA for any loss in share price their statement may have caused. This was just the start of what was a really, really crap week for the FIA president. In the same week as the letter was sent to the FIA, the governing body was prompted to comment on another controversial story concerning its president. Ben Salem was quoted as saying he does not like women who think they're smarter than men on an archived version of his old website. The quotes, which were initially published in 2001, were revealed in an article in The Times. 
An FIA spokesperson said, The remarks in this archived website from 2001 do not reflect the president's beliefs. He has a strong record on promoting women and equality in sports, which he's happy to be judged on. It was a central part of his manifesto, and actions taken this year and the many years he served as vice president for sport prove this. How you can say something written on your own website is not a reflection of your beliefs is beyond me. Oh no, I accidentally meant the exact opposite, but I just wrote it down wrong. Come on, no one actually believes that. The incident is certainly an embarrassing one for a president who vowed to strengthen diversity and inclusion when he was elected. That would still be a pretty bad work week, but it doesn't end there for Ben Salaam. Stories released in the last few days say a number of different F1 teams have issues with the leadership style of FIA President Mohammed Ben Salaam. So it isn't just his own organization, Liberty Media and Formula One management he's pissed off, it's the teams as well. Sky Sports are reporting that the strained relationship has been patched up and said that positive conversations had taken place between the two parties, but that a significant number of high-ranking individuals at the teams still had issues with the president. No reply has come from the FIA to F1's letter, reporter Craig Slater said. But I can also say that positive conversations continue between the two institutions, so they're functioning normally as they need to do to keep the sport operating properly. But people are still telling me that they have issues with the kind of personal style of leadership that Mohammed Ben Salem has at the FIA, and these are high-ranking individuals from a number of different Formula 1 teams. While Ben Salem appears to have work to do to mend his relationship with F1 bosses and teams, he could also be heading for a confrontation with the drivers. Ben Salem announced earlier in January that F1 drivers must not use the platform provided by the FIA to make statements for their own personal agenda. Drivers will need prior written permission from the sport's governing body to make political, religious and personal statements, following an update of the International Sporting Code. Seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton is among high-profile drivers who've made such statements in recent seasons. Hamilton has stood up for human rights and racial equality, while also addressing LGBTQ rights in conservative countries like Saudi Arabia, which has held two races since 2021. Valtteri Bottas is one of the drivers to have voiced his concern over the FIA's new restriction, insisting that drivers are trying to make the world a better place and should be free to say what they want. To top all of this off, we haven't even covered the Andretti bid to join the sport and Ben Salem's apparent favoritism toward it. Basically, the whole thing is a huge mess. It's gotten so bad that reports of a plot to replace the FIA president are now popping up. German media outlet Sport1 claimed there is a plot afoot to oust Mohammed Ben Salem from his position as president of the FIA. It's claimed that F1 commercial rights owners Liberty Media are behind the plot and have a successor lined up to take his place. Sport1 have named the individual who Liberty Media are promoting to replace Mohammed Ben Salem. Motorsport UK chairman and Pro Drive chief David Richards could take the position. He has an F1 background from his time as team boss with Benetton and British American Racing. However, the president of the FIA is elected by the members of 240 national motorsport associations, most of whom play no active role in Formula 1. So Liberty Media cannot simply sack him given his authority is derived from many other sources. That doesn't mean they can't campaign for a favorite to take over though, and will have a vast war chest they can use to help promote him. Do you think that Formula 1 and Liberty Media will depose Ben Salaam? And what effect do you think this will have on the sport? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and on your way down, don't forget to subscribe in preparation for the 2023 season. Until next time, drive safe and bye for now.